to have you back it's nice to be back it's been a long time since it has, been here with you man it? that's good i don't know we haven't seen each other since last year august i don't know it's summertime a, it's ages man it's good to see you yeah we just keep crossing and you're busy all the time so that's why i know you've been out of nam we've been to nam again Getting signature stuff done oh don't say that. that's like what are we talking about today because this is quite cool i don't know if we we didn't see these in them because fenlon and Gret were they there they weren't there were they at nam no they weren't there were they not no i, th I think it was pretty good that they weren't there actually because I think Fender and Gibson, the big guys not being there, left a, some room for the for everybody yeah, else, yeah. you know. True. Uh, but it would be nice to see them there. But just it a little nice, stand. It'd be nice to go out one year, you know. Yeah, yeah. Or well, wink, wink, Lee, maybe. Right. <laughs> hey, anyway, before we go on, please like and subscribe to the Do channel. You. We really appreciate it. And we are giving away a real clone when we hit a million. And every 10,000 new subscribers, we give away something. I don't know what it is, but we give away something good. Yeah. Well, tell us about Fantastic. these uh, Jim Dandy. These are the Jim Dandy. The Jim Dandy. That, I mean, they've been Gretchen have been making the Jim Dandy models for a while, but here, there's a few new models in the range, few yeah. new finishes. They are based, kind of loosely based, on the old Rex guitars that Gretchen used to make in the 30s through to the 50s, which were their mm. kind of budget acoustic guitars in in the similar vein to the kind of the harmonies and the Ks and the silver tones yeah, yeah, yeah. that were around at the same kind of time. So you know, budget models but with a real, you know, that kind of vibe that you get from those style of guitars, particularly suited to, you know, your more rootsy Americana yeah. and blues stuff. Well, so, well who, is, who is, so Jim Dandy, who is Jim Dandy? Jim who's, Dandy. Who's, who's, who's Jim Ricky? Uh, Jim Ricky's from the old series of guitars, I believe. Jim Dandy isn't actually a real person. Is he not? No, no, well, I mean, Jim, there is Jim Dandy, he's the lead singer of Black Oak, Arkansas, but he has nothing to do with <laughs> these guitars. He's like, I see you sing some model out then, Jim. It's like, no, yeah. it's nothing to do with me, go away. Yeah, that's it. It's, I think they just thought it was a cool name for this kind of, you know. It, yeah, it is, it's, it's, very, it's very Americana, isn't it? Sort yeah. of, um, okay, well, let's start, start with these ones here. Please tell me what's going on These two, on we've got the Dreadnought model here and the Parlor Size. Mm -hmm. These are all short scale guitars, so the Parlor has got 24 inch scale, which is really short. Oh, that's really short. Yeah. It felt short. I was going to say, and the, the Dreadnought and I think the Concert size, which is behind me, those yeah. are 24 and 3 quarter inch. So, okay. you know, they've, they're all short scale guitars. They've all got laminate bodies. Mm -hmm. um, Basswood and Sapili. I think those ones are Basswood and yeah. the, the Sunburst yeah. are Sapili's. Yeah. NATO neck, Walnut fingerboard, Walnut bridge. And these kind of, you know, they're very much styled after those kind of 40s and 50s guitars. You've got the open gear tuners, which I are nice. That. They're still affordable. They're Absolutely, still yeah. below 300 quid, I Yeah, can that's it. Yeah. And, you know, the ones with the pickup are slightly more, I think. But it's worth talking about the pickup as well, because the pickup is another 
another cool thing. This is yeah. modelled. Where it's kind of it's it's designed. It looks amazing. After the kind of Diamond, I think they called them the Rhythm Chief. Maybe the GF one thousand. I might be losing. I might be getting the numbers wrong there. There's a lot of Western rhythm chief, and there's a lot of Western stuff going on here. That's isn't it. There? Back in the day. well, the kind of the, those those old Diamond pickups. If mm. I, you, I'm sure you know this already, yeah, Pete, yeah. but for anyone who doesn't know, the Diamonds were the, one of the first kind of aftermarket sound hole pickups that you could buy. Okay. So a lot of those early mm. blues recordings, people take acoustic guitars, stick a Diamond pickup on it, plug it into your amplifier, and that's your kind of that's why we did that at the start yeah, in for the that. Beginning. Yeah. That sound. And I love them. I think the pickups are great because they're they've got that microphonic noise. There's that hollowness, microphonicness I can hear when I'm moving around. Yeah. That it wants to go all the time, which is anyway, let's see, just, let's, let's let's see okay, what it so sounds like. Here let's it is. See. So this is so, with the pickup in. Yeah. Okay. It makes me smile, it makes me smile. <laughs> it's awesome. It's right on the edge of the feedback And this is well. just, this is straight into the, the V140, just yeah. cranked up a little bit, yeah, so I that's it. It's a, you know, it's, it's, it's like a kind of, I think it's like gold foil style construction, so yeah. it's very microphonic, low output, which yeah. is totally the sound you want for this. And also, it works really well with these acoustic strings. Which isn't, yeah. all, isn't always the case with magnetic pickups. I've got some magnetic pickups, and you have to get like. It has to be a dedicated, yeah, yeah, pickup for for, for the acoustic guitar because there's right. a lot of resonance going on. This is great, man. But yeah, a lot of these, a lot of these kind of these sound hole pickups that I've tried, they don't pick up the wound strings that well, but these really do. Okay. <laughs> It's fun, isn't it? It's, it's fun. Great. It's great. It's fun. Man. Um, so this is the other one. That's the what is that that model? I'm this sure. um, I think they just call them. I think they just call the, the this is the Delta Lux Dreadnought because the Delta okay. Lux is the name of the pickup. So you've got the Dreadnought model, the Parlor model, and then the Concert model, which is in between. That's kind of slopes shoulders for a Dreadnought. It's almost like a, a, a you know like J45 a J forty five style. style. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm surprised they, they haven't great. got slotted headstocks. I know. That would be nice, wouldn't it? It would be really yeah. nice, actually. But, but it looks good with the open gear tuners. Yeah. Do you want to play this as well? I would, yeah. Let me just turn on, this then. off. All right, so let's hear it. Love the love. <laughs> I love. It's so infectious. I mean, I think it's it's a fun guitar for the with money, the, with, the, with the with the money and the yeah. pickup on it for yeah, that kind of cool. vibey thing. Absolutely, I mean, it's great, man. Well, let's let's hear it. Let's turn the amp off and then okay. let's play a bit for me with the uh, let's just turn the, with yeah. the Neumann in front. It's, it's, it's not it's a right. big sound in the it's, room, but it's yeah. not a big sound. I think, particularly because we've just been playing through two with yeah, yeah, absolutely, kind of quite. But it's yeah, it's got a very. It's like a pick. It's like a bluesy type. You know, it's like. <laughs> it's that kind of. Yeah, it's very totally. yeah. You know what I really like the binding on here. I like the uh, taut binding. It's nice. It looks really good. The finish on them all is, is really nice, and it, it, like the binding goes all the way up the fretboard as well, which is nice on the, on the yeah, side. Yeah, exactly. There, on this one it looks cool. Anyway, let's hear that. Let's hear yeah, the that, big please. one. So this is the yeah the dreadnoughts. Yeah, this Ooh. sounds. Cowboy chords. Bigger sound, more bigger bass, sound, yeah. as you'd expect from a big body, but still not massively loud. But it's fine, you know, you know. for that kind of money, it's fine. We always talk about that thing, yeah. don't we? Um, you know, I just noticed as well that the uh, torque goes into the pickup as well. Yeah, it's cool. I isn't love it? that. That's really cool. I think uh, that's really nice. Yeah, they feel good. Just to, on, a, yeah. on, a, on a completely different what you, you want to hear what we think. I think yeah. the neck feels really nice on them. I think it's soft. Yeah. It's like a V. It's like a satin finish. 
no sharp corners or anything. It just feels no. lovely. This it's really set up nicely. So Fret works great. So well done on that, uh, Gretsch. Um, yeah. I always like a Gretsch. I haven't got a Gretsch yet. Have you got a Gretsch? I haven't got a Gretsch. I've you never, got, I've you, never had got a Gretsch. Gretsch. I've never had. Well, I've had a Gretsch. I had a 1958 Gretsch. Um, Did you? Yeah, back in the day, and I had to sell it. You know, because you know what it was I'd, like. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I paid like 700 quid for this, and I got like probably 800 quid for it. But I need to sell it. Oh. So like it was like it was faded greeny thing with one pickup in the neck and it was just like really cool 1958 and anyway whatever I digress I, I like um, the old country gentleman with the big padded back oh yeah I mean I want a penguin yeah uh, the penguins man and you know what Gretz uh, the value for money they made in Japan the mm. stuff unless you buy of course the fen the, the, the costume shop yeah, ones, yeah. With, which is then 10 grand but if you buy the value for money wise I think they're about 4 grand yeah for for like a penguin or for you know that's that's a lot of guitar for the money they're below four grand that's yeah compared to a, a fender costume shop which is above five now yeah. you know the Gretsch you should have a look at Gretsch if you want to get anyway whatever again anyway. more like Gretsch let's go on okay what are we doing so let's we do have a look the, at the uh, next ones so we do these um, the concert size yeah 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 or do you want to do the same I mean they're the same aren't they so you've got they are the same apart from the finish on them yeah so you so that's the con that's like an old Double O maybe size, yeah, kind that of kind thing. of size, yeah. twenty four and three quarter inch scale. Yeah, um, with two different two different colour schemes. Should I put this on the stand no, I'll put that over, over here. here. I got that. Acoustically, I'd say this is the most satisfying of the three. Yeah, there's this nice. I mean, I, I, I'm not. What do you, What do you expect for that kind of money? You know what I mean. Well, what, yeah. what do you expect for three hundred quid? What What do you think people expect when they have got three hundred pounds to buy? In uh, sound wise, mm. I think I think you get what you get, and you can go for a look or a feel or do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So you might like this kind of look, or you might like this kind of look, or you might like that kind of look. Yeah. I think these ones have got, because they are a little bit different and they're, they're trying yeah. to do something, you know, they're trying to go for that kind of old fashioned acoustic yeah. vibe. They're not, they're not trying to take on your Martin D18 no, or something. I mean, if this used to be catalogue guitars, yeah. you know, then, you know, that's what you want it for. Exactly. You know, you it's, want one of these in your studio. Because well, somebody goes, oh, I want, uh, you know, I'll get people, we, when we did Tim Pierce, mm. the, you know, he goes, I want something that sounds old-fashioned and rattly on yeah. this track. And you're going, oh my God. So he had to go and buy something that's old. And, and, yeah. and they, these cats got, you know, they play and feel lovely. That's but it. But they've got that old-fashioned sound, you know. Don't get me wrong here. Don't no. <laughs> quote me. These guitars are wonderful for the money. Yeah. Because they feel they great. Play, they play great. And the intonation is great. And if you, you wanted know. it as like a second, you know, if you wanted a guitar to sling in the car and take, Camping, yeah, we or... don't care about that, you know. I mean, but, but also, yeah, like I know you know, recording stuff, and I'm sure you've done the same. Yeah. You don't always want to have a big dreadnought taking up all of that no, range. No. Uh, Sometimes you want to have a little guitar that can just sit exactly. there and do, and that's, do that's the thing, what, yeah, exactly. I mean, I, you know, when I use my D18 and with a you know, I use the yeah, yeah. uh, what's it called? It's the um, Austrian audio pen mic, can't CC8, uh, I think it's yeah, called, yeah. and it's just it's just so big. Cannon, yeah, yeah. You know, it takes, takes up, up all and then you have range. to go. You have to go like yeah, that yeah. to take stuff off it. But I mean. That's it. it sounds great, man. It sounds great. It's really nice, it, and it's like a. It's like it gives an instant kind of mood, doesn't yeah. it? To, to, and I can keep playing. playing. Anyway, right, before we go to the dreadnought, can you just play the little one for us, please? Yeah. Let's 
faux pas, man. Keep going. It's definitely again that smaller sound from, Very, from yeah. the other one here, you know. But it's it's got a, this charm, man. It's charming. Yeah, that's it. It's charming. It's, yeah, if you want to sit comfortably on your sofa with a nice small little guitar and noodle away, comfortably <laughs> numb. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Put I like in, it. I think it's yeah. It, it looks, looks sweet, though, doesn't it? It looks yeah. cute. It does. It looks great. It yeah. plays nicely. I mean, it sounds as it sounds, which is kind of like yeah, it's great. <laughs> Nice. Well, it yeah. sounds like the other one with the pickup, but I wonder if that pickup takes some sound away from the comes out. I mean, it's like a, yeah, maybe. maybe. I don't know. Maybe you guys can flack back and flack, flack flick, squid back and forth. What is that? Flick, flack. Go flick, for the, the timestamps. Yeah. Timestamps back and forth and see what happens. See what you think. Yeah. Anyway, I think that's enough, man. I think, I think, think links great. below. You've had enough playing. You had another jam. You had stuff. So. Just go and check it out. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, I think they've got. I think you know, if you're after something a bit different acoustically, it's not going to set you back a load of money. Um, it's cool. I particularly like the ones with the pickups. I've got to say, I think yeah. the pickups make it kind of. It's worth the extra little. It's worth the extra seventy quid, cut, or whatever it is. Yeah, cut the the neighbour's lawn a couple of more times. Yeah, that's it. Just to get up. that, because then, yeah, that's, 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 that's a sound. <laughs> cool sound. Yeah, that's it. Okay, on that note, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Ben, thank you very much again. It's a pleasure. We'll see you again soon.